So Connecticut Shade Rapper uh, is maybe one of the most misunderstood rappers in cigars. Uh, and I'll start with this cigar in particular, the Cohiba Connecticut. Uh, and it's called Cohiba Connecticut because it's a representation of Connecticut Shade Rapper. But this wrapper is actually grown in Los Rios region of Ecuador and it's not grown under shade. So the term Connecticut Shade comes from how this style of wrapper came to be years and years ago here in the U.S. and Connecticut. Uh, tobacco fields would be covered with a cheesecloth, this sort of thin white linen cloth that would deflect 35% or so of the sunlight. So what you got was a drier, milder, lighter leaf that became the Connecticut Shade Wrapper. Over time, that style of growing tobacco uh, uh, became pervasive in countless other countries, you know, uh, Nicaragua, Ecuador, and so forth. So most of the Connecticut Shade cigars that you would see on the shelves now are not actually grown in Connecticut. We do grow some there, but it's not actually even used on this. Again, this tobacco on the Cohiba Connecticut is grown in Los Rios region of Ecuador and it's grown in an area that has natural cloud cover. So there's no need even for a cheesecloth, but because this is a type of wrapper that it, that it yields, it's still referred to as Connecticut. So it's one of the most misunderstood wrappers uh, uh, you know, in the industry when people hear Connecticut shade. Uh, but with that being said, what you get from a Connecticut shade wrapper, uh, one that, that that's treated properly, you're gonna get a milder, creamier, uh, more approachable smoke that has broader appeal, uh, which is what we were going for with the Connecticut for Cohiba, but we added a few things under the hood in the way of Lijero from Jalapa Valley, Nicaragua, San Andreas Binder, Brazilian Matafina, to give it a little bit more body, a little bit more uh, pop, so to speak, um, so that it has uh, a, you know something that appeals to people that typically smoke fuller body cigars. But it's still gonna give you all the things that you expect from your typical Connecticut shade cigar. And I put Connecticut shade in quotes because very, very few are still grown in the typical Connecticut shade method. But it's a great wrapper nonetheless.